FileMaker 16 introduces two new recipients of the revamped calculation dialog that started off in FileMaker 14. FileMaker Incorporated has slowly but surely been updating the plethora of calculation dialogs in FileMaker, and there's a lot of them. They're in script workspace on just about every script step. They're in manage database in the auto enter and validation sections. They're in layout mode in conditional formatting and hide objects. They're in security. They're in custom functions. They're practically everywhere because they add a lot of depth to a feature. Now each dialog needs special attention and the data viewer is no exception. But we're actually going to start off showing you the second dialog that's been updated. That's going to be inside your manage external data sources and you'll see in the ODBC you can specify the username as well as the password with the new dialog. But most of you are probably interested in the data viewer. I mean, sure, you can use it here, it'd be great, but really, where you spend most of your time as the data viewer really helps you construct a calculation outside, let's say, a script. So you don't have to run the script over and over and over again. You can perfect it inside the data viewer and then copy and paste it. So let's take a look at it. We'll go into the data viewer go into the watch section. We're going to open up this first one that I've already typed in. And it's actually this function right here that I've put inside of the notes here in the instructions. You might find it useful. What it does is it actually converts, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 into 1,234 and 0, 100. It's kind of like what you do on a check writing program. I don't use it that often, but the reason I have it in here is it's a very long calculation. You'll see why later. First, let's cover what is inside this revamped dialog. Now what's in here is the ability to come in here and start typing, right? Case, hit the return key, it completes it for you. So you don't have to type everything. You can type in field names, table names, you can type in functions, and it'll complete it for you. So that's great. That's one of the great, it doesn't just look pretty, it actually works well. But some other things you might not notice that they've done uh, that's actually a change to all of the dialogues, not just the data viewer, is they've changed the default. It's not all functions by name, but all functions by type. And you'll see that you can expand and collapse these. Now why did they do this? I'm, I don't know exactly, what, but I think the reason is, is because you can type in your functions like I just did. Why would you want to view them all by name? If you know them, why would you scroll down through this long list? What's going to happen is you're probably going to know a lot of them off the top of your head, and you're going to go, oh, what's that one? And if you can go into the section and find it this easily by, you know, just opening up this section because you know it's a number function or you know it's a text formatting function, it's much easier to find it than trying to remember the exact name. So I think that's really helpful in why they did this and added these expansion triangles. It's really quite nice. They also added in here the ability to click on the function and show a description just like they did in the script workspace. So that's quite handy, mostly for beginners, but it might remind some experts of you know exactly how a function works. There might be a detail in there so you don't have to go on the internet and look it up, especially on those functions you don't use very often. So those are pretty cool features. Now, what I like best though in the data viewer, what's specific to it, you know, each a dialogue's got its own attention and, and own features. Typically it does. Um, the ODBC doesn't really have much. But what this one has is something I've wanted for a long time. And that's the ability to change the size here between the expression or formula and the result. Why is it handy? Well, in this case, I want to make the function bigger because the result's not very long. And then I can scroll through it, right? I can make, of course, the window a little bit bigger if I wanted to. That's really handy, but if you're looking at some other type of formula, you don't want it to be very big. You want to see that long list of the result and see what it is, rather than what we had to do before is we had this small little area, we'd copy and paste it and put it into a word processor, or possibly come over here and hold our mouse over and wait for the tooltip to show, and then you can't really see all of it. It was, it was really uh, difficult to work with it. So this is really handy being able to go ahead and split this and show as much of one area or, or less of the other as you want. Now there's one other feature, automatically evaluate, and I'm going to show it with a simple case statement. I'm going to say case, open paren. We'll come over here and find the amount. Of course, I could click on it or I could just type. So we'll go and choose amount, right? Equals one, two, three, four. 
If it does, I'll put good or bad. And then as soon as I type this close parentheses, notice how it automatically evaluated. I didn't have to come down here and click on the evaluate button. Watch that again. If I delete that close parentheses and then type it back in, as soon as it's able to evaluate it, it puts the value in there, the result in there. Now you might be thinking, eh, no big deal, right? Well, the way I look at it is if you're working on a complex formula and you're trying to get the result to come out but it's not happening, coming down and clicking on this evaluate button each time just to find out that it's invalid or it's not giving you the right result, it really takes a lot of time. You're going back and forth maybe hundreds of times per calculation when you're working on something really substantial. And so being able to just type and not leave the keyboard and go to the mouse to click that evaluate button and see the result there might be very helpful in time saving on complicated projects. So there you go. The calculation dialog is slowly but surely being added everywhere and I think when they worked on the data viewer they really did a great job in adding two great features, especially that splitter. That's really my favorite uh, feature of the whole you know, calculation revamp.